Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Beggs on the Used Car Market. I'm Ricky Beggs, Editorial Director at Black Book. Each year we like to sit down with the current leadership team of the National Auto Auction Association to get their insight into the market and hear their plans to support the wholesale market channels. Here is that interview. We're extremely pleased to have with us this year's leadership of the National Auto Auction Association. Jack Nash, President for this year, and Ellie Johnson, Vice President of the NAAA this year. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we're glad to have you down here, and also Frank, who's kind of in the background today. It's a pleasure to be you know. here. Thank pleasure. You. Hey, during these next few minutes, let's just talk a little bit about uh, your insight into the market, how you see things, uh, what the plans are for NAAA. You ready for that? Yes, sir. All right. Well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, you spent a year as Vice President traveling the country with Paul Lips. And now you're the president of NAAA for the next year. Uh, kind of give me an idea of what uh, you think you're going to do driving the ship this year and a little bit of your background experience in the industry. Well, we visited 65 auctions last year and um, we got quite a lot of input. It was very nice to talk to a lot of the general managers and get the feedback of what they were experiencing in the market. And um, one of the things um, moving forward is we want to continue to uh, visit auctions and, and we want to concentrate on a lot of auctions that have never had a visit from NAAA. We've had a lot of member auctions that uh, have never seen anybody from NAAA and, and they've always supported us. So those are the auctions we're going to concentrate on this year. Now, are there, are there more than 65 that are going to get visited this year, maybe? Um, probably not. We <laughs> want to spend a little time at home this year. but. Um, we, we do have a schedule worked out and I think we're going to, uh, it's going to be exciting some of the auctions that we're going to have. Well that's great. You mentioned staying at home. What keeps you busy when you're in Boston but not at the auction? Um, I love playing with uh, old cars and classic cars. I have a couple and uh, I go to a lot of uh, classic car shows mm -hmm. and uh, that, that I enjoy and a little motorcycling in between. And, that's and what I try to do in my spare time. And I think you actually have a, a motorcycle charity event that the auction helps sponsor? We do. We, uh, we're going into our 14th year this year. Yeah. We've raised uh, just under $600,000 for children's charities. And we're looking forward to uh, doing it again this year and uh, having a great event. It's been, we have a lot of uh, our staff that gets involved, the community gets involved. Um, and it's, we've really been successful with it, and we have a lot of fun with it, too. And it's for a good cause. And I know I'm down here in the south, but I have a brother-in-law I think has actually been involved in that event one year that lives up in Westwood. That's right in the area where we have it, and that's one of the, uh, one of the areas that's benefited from our charities. So. Fantastic. And Ellie, you're general manager of Mannheim, North Carolina, in Kenley, North Carolina. Yes. Can you give me a little information about your background in the industry? Um, I started when I was 23. My father actually built the auction I'm at. We, we opened up in 84 and um, in 97 I became general manager and have been in that position ever since. And now active in NAAA? Absolutely. Ellie, I recently saw you in San Diego at National Remarketing Conference and I think I'll probably see you in March in uh, Vegas at the NAAA and CAR and IAR conference. What was the one thing that really caught your attention in San Diego about the industry? Um, it was actually my first time being mm -hmm. at NRC and with the consigners being there and how involved they are in, in their association and how involved they seem to be in the whole industry and their outlook of what they want for the, for the industry, it, it really is exciting to see that from, from the consigner. Yeah. And it's got to be a good relationship between that consigner and the auctions for sure. Absolutely and we saw that out there. Very good. Uh, you know, just a minute ago we talked about how much you had traveled. Does Ellie need to be prepared for any special jokes or anything this year during the travels around the country that you dealt with with Paul? Well, uh, Paul was very good and uh, we're pretty much joked out, but uh, I'm not going to tip my hand at this point. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, with the amount of time that both of y'all will be spending with the association uh, traveling around the country uh, at, at your auction. What do you expect to go on back there and, and how many late night emails and phone calls will there be while you're gone? Well, I know I'm in Boston. I'm very fortunate. I have a great staff and a, a great staff of managers and uh, they handle things pretty well. And this past year is, is when it got tested out and it, 
it proved successful. So um, I think we're going to continue with that and with the support that I have, I think I'll be good moving forward. Good. Ellie, how about your team in North Carolina? Absolutely. They a very strong management staff there. I have Marty Rohde as my AGM and he, he's very supportive of this position and also the, the direct reports I have there, they've got a lot of longevity with the auction. Great, great. Now after a couple of years in the industry, really tough times when we went from, you know, 17 million cars down to 10.3 to million new car sales. Ultimately, that's a lot of trade-ins because of, of that aren't going to be there because of the sales levels being different. You know, that's that's really changed the market a lot. Now I think we're almost back to the level of pre-recession levels of, of inventory possibly. Uh, how do you see that coming back as far as coming back to the physical auctions and then uh, even expanding a little further with what you have to offer? Uh, it, it's an exciting time. Uh, I think we all learned some lessons on how to uh, run the auction and how to run lean and I think it's something that we won't take for granted. And the feedback we got on our auction visits this year was was that they were seeing the volumes come back and they were seeing the conversions coming back, but I don't think we really saw that initial spring sp uh, spike that we saw o over the past year's pre-recession. I think it's been more uh, consistent, m more of a steady um, uh, rise in volume and uh, values. As we head into 2014, now we're going to have more volume coming back. How do you see the vehicle values and the sales percentages take place at the auction now that there's going to be a little more volume? I think the values will, will remain strong and uh, hopefully the, con um, the conversions will remain consistent. Um, we really didn't see that, that spike in the spring that we usually got, but we did remain consistent uh, in volume and values and I, I think that's how we'll be looking at moving forward for 2014. You know, another section of the, of the auction industry is the specialty market uh, with power sports, with collectible cars, with uh, uh, heavy duty trucks. You know, how do you see that piece of the market uh, going on? And then one of the other things is with both of you, one being from Odessa and one being from Mannheim, there's been some changes in the structure there within the specialty markets. How do you see the specialty markets? I think it's become regionalized in some of the specialty sales um, in regards to uh, marine, um, off-road uh, vehicles. I think that's become very regionalized, but I think the truck market, we have seen a gain in and um, I think the power sports may remain a little bit on the leaner side right now just due to the fallout from um, lack of business back in 08 to 11. And Ellie, from the Mannheim side, uh, a little change in the specialty markets there as well. What do you see in that section? We have. We've changed uh, some of our, our organization to a more regional um, environment and also we are seeing some increase with the, um, with the construction equipment and also with, with the work vans, work trucks we're seeing a rise in the values there. Yeah, you know, the economy's helped that probably as much Absolutely. as anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, what are a couple of the uh, issues that, that you want to address or accomplish as president of the association this year? Things we want to continue is the uh, legislature and uh, Day on the Hill, which has been very successful and uh, with the relationships we've formed with uh, NADA and NADA, I think it's, it's been a very powerful tool. Um, I think one of the things is, is with the conversion of the magazine now and uh, on the block coming out bi-monthly, we're finally going to be able to get a lot of news into the dealer's hands that they haven't been able to see before. And with that, a lot of the legislature that's going on monitoring what's being introduced and anything that could have a negative impact on our industry. Now, which side of the magazine is the front and which side is the back? Um, Whichever side's up? Whichever side is up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was an interesting way to put the magazine out. It sure was. It, it caught my attention. I thought, wait a minute, I just turned this over, now it's the other way. We've had a lot of positive feedback on that and um, again, the, it's, it's a tool that we've never had before and it just shows what the associations are doing for the dealers yeah. and uh, the dealers can see the benefit of, of dealing with um, um, and AAA member auctions. Yeah. And, and Ellie, as far as Vice President of the Association this year, you've got a year to start planning and kind of think about some of the ideas that you want to have as a platform. Have you already started putting some of those thoughts together? Well, feeding off of what Jack has has put in place with the associations and we um, we also are seeing uh, with the National Auctioneer Association we're, we're doing a lot of things with them we're monitoring their legislative um, issues that come up and also we're getting some of the ch uh, state chapters with the NIADA to actually join the National Auto Auction Association. Good. Now another thing that's been going on in the in the industry for about the last year and a half is TPC management has been putting together something called Auction Academy. 
Uh, and I'm sure both of you are aware of that. Uh, what do you see happening from this program? What are the advantages of that? I think it's a great program to build bench, bench strength in the auctions. Uh, it introduces a, a training to, uh, into an industry that I don't think would be available anywhere else. And it, it really educates uh, a, a lot of the family members in the family auctions and the independent auctions uh, um, on what's going on with the industry and, and what to expect. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity and one of the things I've seen at different events throughout the year and even at NAAA last fall is some of the people that are in that auction academy are now attending NAAA events, yes. now attending other in industry events as well. Mm -hmm. uh, just gives them a broader view of the, of the picture. Hey, just around the corner is 2014. Uh, what do you think is going to happen uh, in, the, in the business world, in the auction industry, in, in the whole car industry? What do you think is going to happen in 2014? Uh, it's an exciting time. Uh, it, it's it's humbling to be president. I'm looking forward to working with Ellie this coming year, and um, I think we're going to be looking at uh, the volumes coming back, uh, like you had mentioned, to pre-recession. Um, I think online is going to be a, a huge impact, and, and something's going to continue to grow, and um, that's one of the areas that we're going to concentrate on also with the auto grading and the uh, uh, auction standards training. We want to build confidence in that online buying. And some of the some of the things you just mentioned, uh, Ellie. At the same time, I understand there's a lot of things about multi-platform selling. You want to touch on that for us? Yes, I think we're very close to to having having that ready and having it out. And um, I think that's going to be a huge advantage to to all the auctions in our industry. So the more eyes you can get on the car, the quicker, the better. Absolutely. Yeah, no. All right, we're coming to Boston in yes. the fall. What have you got planned for us? Um, it's exciting. It'll really give us a chance to showcase our city. It's been 40 years since the uh, convention's been in Boston. So we're very excited. It's, uh, the hotel is right downtown Boston. It's the Sheraton Boston Hotel. And, and we're hoping for a great turnout. And we, we'd like to invite anybody who was able to attend. We think they'd have a very nice time and, and get a lot of value out of the uh, convention also. Now there's a little more excitement happening in Boston in the spring. Don't you have a, a championship for the Auctioneers Association in Boston this year? We do in May. We have the uh, World Automobile Auctioneer Championship mm -hmm. which was held in Waco, Texas last year and in, we're the first Odessa to host it and we're very excited to, to have it in the Northeast. Well, Fantastic. Any final message that you'd like to pass along to the viewers of this uh, video? I think it's been a humbling experience and an exciting experience to be a part of this association, the NAAA, with the people that are involved and, and the support we've, we've received. Uh, it's exciting and I'm just looking forward to uh, 2014, an exciting year, and, and uh, getting some programs accomplished with Ellie. Yeah. Ellie, final message? I'm, I'm looking forward to this year and certainly am very fortunate that I had this opportunity to spend with Jack and to be the president-elect and coming in as president, so I'm excited. And we will have the accents worked out by the end of 2014. Maybe. <laughs> I, hey, I think mine's more like Ellie's, so, so I'm on her side. <laughs> I'm outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you both for joining us today. It, it is a pleasure to talk with you and for you to be able to pass your thoughts along to, uh, to people in the industry. And, and one of the things that I say just about every week when we finish this video is we look forward to seeing you on the auction lanes again this week. Thank you.